A sinkhole in one Bradenton shopping center continues to get bigger. Some businesses at Cortez Plaza East and their customers are wondering why anything is not being, nothing is being done to fix that sinkhole and another one nearby. ABC 7's Rick Adams joins us live from the shopping center with the latest on that growing problem. Rick. Yeah, Jacqueline, good evening. Back in there is one of the sinkholes. This has been an absolute nightmare for a lot of folks here. This is the sinkhole that has some businesses in the Cortez Plaza East Shopping Center very worried. Michael Fowler and his wife own a laundromat just feet away from the sinkhole. They say it's a hole that continues to grow and nothing is being done about it. The landlord, often he don't want to talk to us. Uh, we contacted them many times and uh, then Nobody can give you an answer to anything. And they say, yeah, we're going to fix it soon, we'll fix it soon, but then uh, for two years nothing has happened. Near the sinkhole, there is another area fenced off because of what appears to be a second sinkhole. Feller says because of these sinkholes, they've lost a lot of business, and so have some of the other businesses in the shopping center. Feller tells us their business has gone down by one-third, and they may have to eventually close down in the very near future. It's very tough because uh, the bills keep coming. <laughs> but the income uh, dwindles down a lot. Roshanti McCray visits the shopping center often with her family. She says if this isn't fixed soon, she may end up doing her shopping elsewhere. I'm a concerned citizen. I appreciate if something get done because I don't want nobody car getting stuck or the storm coming, throw stuff around and it, it, you know, all over the place and then somebody get in, seriously injured just not safe. Since very little has been done to take care of the sinkholes, Manatee County says they may be stepping in to fix the problem and then bill the owner. The Public Works Department is preparing an option to present Manatee County Commissioners at their June 12th meeting. The owner has been incurring daily fines since March 1st. For Feller, his wife and other businesses, they say they're looking for relief from this nightmare. We need help here. <laughs> you know, um, a good lawyer needs to tackle this. You know, uh, we're on our wits end here. And the owner of the shopping center could not be reached for a comment. As soon as we receive an update on this, we'll certainly pass it along to you. Reporting live from Bradenton this evening, I'm Rick Adams. Jacqueline, back to you. Okay, Rick, thank you.